Good afternoon, welcome to Run Like Gaming. Uh, so we are continuing on uh, with XCOM, which we're currently kind of getting close to the end of the game here. Branch where we left off, we lost Russia last episode, our last uh, video. Mostly because I was lazy and didn't feel like actually doing the fight there. Uh, so otherwise we have a crash here in India. And we're gonna go ahead and All right, so yeah, pretty much have the team we need. Strike one. Prepare for landing. This will also be our first uh, actual battle with the psychic. It looks like the aliens went down in the Not really psychic, but the. There are civilians in the area. I hope they stay clear. Yeah, I guess it's basically psychic. Because they have like telepathic type powers. And so pretty much at this point it's just another UFO crash. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien. Alright, so we have a little room that way. And not as much room to the south. Alright, so we're just going to move up to the blue. And then we'll move this one next to that one. Move this one next to that one. This one we're going to use as bait, so we're just going to put them toward the end here. That way we can get a little extra movement on it. That way, if we need to run a gun, he should already be about there. And we'll end our turn. Well, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, so this can be a bit of a problem. What I may actually kind of do is like... I need to evacuate. Because basically, I either have to jump in here and kill six things. Five things. But I thought there was other. Or I have to run around here. And kill three. That seems to be the most sound decision that I could go with. Alright, so we're gonna take out the far one first. So, run a gun. Alright, so we're gonna grab that spot there. So since this one's pretty much guaranteed, we're gonna go ahead and blow him up first. Alright, so that's our plasma. He's just gonna do a double move without actually without actually having to shoot because he pretty much can't. Alright, 
so pretty much just getting around this uh, edge here. Unfortunately, he won't actually make it. So he's just gonna hide back here. Basically, we're gonna put so much range between us that it's gonna make it just about impossible for him to hit us. The only downside is the one person they can target there might get shot up a bit. Unfortunately, he's taking some damage, too. Alright, so we have one... So, two running guns, so that's really not a good place to be. Basically, he's gonna pick up full cover now. And just in case they decide to come running through. Actually, we're gonna try to take the upper ground here. So basically we're giving them another round to try to run up to us. Oh, yeah, forget about grenades. Not a particularly good position to be in, but at least we have some of our running guns up. Alright, so we're going to tag the back one first. See if this one can take out the close one. Apparently, on 85%, he can't shoot. close as we can without going too far. And blast. Alright, basically so we're going to try to get a little bit closer. That's our plasma guy, so he's going to do some healing. 
Because that's basically his entire purpose for my team. So he kind of plays a healer most of the time. And he can heal for 10 hit points, so that's basically two full bars. Now there's three red guys with the improved weapons and armor. And I think they should be still in the center area there. Run gun. Run gun. Run gun. Alright, so the only one that does not actually still have it is this guy. So, basically we're going to move him in the center, just to see if we spawn. Nope. So pretty much as long as we don't spawn them during our move, they shouldn't be shooting at us this next round, so... This one, we'll just move right next to there. And we'll end our turn. Alright, so we can take the edge here. The thing is, I guess he hasn't actually noticed us. Alright, so... Yeah, it's probably risky, but we're gonna go... As far back as we can. So his lightning reflexes is going to ignore the first shot. Trying to say I don't see where the other guys are. I know there's more, but... Looks like he actually shot through the wall here, which means he's way back here somewhere. So basically we're going to get next to this wall here, just in case they are in this room here. Then they're going to come within four squares and just get blasted. Then we're going to move him as far up as we can. Mostly to kind of support this other person up here. to this door here. Which means I'll probably just run everyone down there. It kind of lowers the risk of running into things in there. Alright, 
This one's gonna run pretty much all the way up to that door. That's my plasma guy, so he's actually going to pretty much open the door itself. So what we'll probably do is take this edge here. Alright. So got a pretty good idea of where that guy is. He cannot run a gun. This guy can. This may spawn stuff on the right, though, which it did not. But apparently he can't shoot from there, so there's that. Alright, so let's try that spot. Really? So there's no reason to burn another running gun. We're gonna go about here and shoot him. So if anything comes to the store here, we're going to have so many assaults that he pretty much doesn't have a chance. Check to make sure there's nothing out this way. Looks like there's not, so we're basically gonna stack up on the store and prepare to assault the main room. with him one square back and just go ahead and overwatch on top of his regular. Just in the off chance that something so happens to survive the other five assaults that are sitting there. Alright. So basically, we will open the door. This one down here, so he can still at least shoot. All right, 
So pretty much at this point, we're going to annihilate everything in this room. Now one downside to my build, because one of its strongest points also makes it one of the weakest, is it does make it a little bit difficult to actually take survivors. So if you're actually going to like shock it and, you know, capture it, this team is really not good for it, because usually one shot just kills whatever you shoot. And if it didn't kill whatever you shot, it's because you missed. Next, we're going to blast him. Because it'd be good to capture one of these guys for... Well, I could actually... I guess I could break out the pistols. There's always that. I will take some damage if I do it because pretty much I'm just gonna weaken them down a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna hit them for six damage. Possibly two damage. Alright, he took a little bit of damage, but this is mostly in hopes of actually just capturing him. And we'll go ahead and stun him. That way we can at least make that trip a little bit more useful. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please pass on my gratitude to our forces. All right. We can go ahead and interrogate him. All right, so basically, we get some research credit towards psionics. Nothing too major. Alright, we have a ton of money at this point. We have three grand. So pretty much, uh, Ghost Armor is like one of the better armors you can get. There's one more that should be coming up pretty soon for the Psionic stuff. Uh, but this is actually pretty useful because, like, as long as you're within cover, you can use the stealth ability and really, really reduce the chance that something's going to shoot you. Which is really good if you're trying to kind of move to the side and hide a little bit. Actually, engineering, build facility...
Yeah, like right now our stuff's very, very, very cheap. Oh, never mind. Some of these are a little more expensive. So is there anything else we could? I guess we can improve that a little bit. It's not completely useless. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And I think we can get another firestorm. And just to be on the safe side, we'll probably go ahead and build a few EMPs. These are pretty much your best thing to take down ships. Because basically you just throw them in on a firestorm and you can pretty much take down anything without any problems whatsoever. All right, so we'll see if we can assign any new research. All right, so pretty much at this point, we can go ahead and do research on these. It basically just makes our pistols a little bit better. Figure why not? Just in the off chance that sometimes they might use them, but for the most part, I don't use pistols that often. There's no more research to do, so off to. And send our laser cannon up. Uh, Alright, so we're going to scramble our other one. This is when the firestorms are actually pretty good to have. They're far better at dealing with things like this. Whereas I don't know if we're actually going to bring down this one. Yeah, so we can't actually do anything about this one. So I guess we're going to scan. And our firestorms are going to be about 10 more days, so that we need to get them moved around once they do. All right, so we get our new ships. So whenever we construct with this, we get 113 back, so... We've done 
Actually, I think that was for two of them. We got 113 back, so we only spent one on that, so... Definitely getting in on a bit of a discount. Alright, so... We need to send these... I think these are actually the demons. So we're going to send one there. So Africa is good. And then at this point we need to send one to our other locations here. So probably send this to South America since it's probably the least equipped right now. For now, we're probably going to send this to North America. Because this will be done in two days. As long as nothing pops up in two days, we should be fine. And then... We're going to build as many more of those as we can. Because we need at least five total if we want to equip put them everywhere. Munich we are going. Alright, so we don't actually have any laser pistols right now. I just figured I'd go and equip them if I could. Alright, so this is going to be a civilian one. Again, this is the bread and butter for my team, so it's kind of where I prefer to be. Uh, usually, having a bunch of civilians on the battlefield is much easier for us to do really well at. As compared to like a regular team that has a bunch of like heavies and support and snipers, they take a little bit longer to actually get to their destination and actually kill stuff. My guys can usually get into the fray pretty quickly. Okay, so it looks like... Alright, so it looks like we just have basically our wall here. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and run inside and see how it goes. Alright, so Plasma Guy, we'll go ahead and move him. Ooh, I forget about that guy. He's kind of a problem. think they would have a good shot at shooting it. In fact, it's a really, really low chance. Alright, so hopefully we can just save him here.
Alright, so we're going to probably get lit up pretty badly this round. Because he kind of flanks just about everything I have on my side of the board, as well as his two friends. But they're killing civilians right now, too. That thing's a pain. So at this point, we've already lost three. The big thing here, though, is we need to get it in there and knock out that robot pretty much right now. This should be close enough to actually dent him pretty good. And that's pretty much, this is going to be one of the big things right here, is one of the things my assault do have a little bit of trouble with, out of everything in this game, this is probably one of the few exceptions, because I do need two assault to usually kill one of these. Because even doing 25 points damage in one turn like that, pretty much doesn't down it. Which for most other teams, that's pretty hard to do. Uh, one of the good things that one of the other uh, professions actually has on here is the heavy. He can actually... Oh, I didn't mean to... Really didn't mean to move there. Yeah, let's give it a shot then. I really hope she can... Nope. Where's my plasma guy? Cause he should have enough range to do it. Alright, so hopefully he can do at least 5 damage, which he did. I think those still explode and... Nope. They do not take out their friends. Alright, so basically we are trying to go up the center here. Oh. That's not good at all either. Alright, so hopefully one of these will pop through. Come on, second shot. Ah, two misses. Alright, so we're gonna just get in here and kill one of these. Not a very ideal thing to kill, but... It's better than doing anything at all, I suppose. He is not able to run a gun, so... Alright, 46% chance again. Come on, take a shot. There we go. Not a particularly good turn, because there's a lot of things that appeared this round. Yep, come on over. Yeah, 
but so far this battle is not looking particularly good. It's not that I don't I don't think I'm actually gonna lose anybody. I mean there's still a possibility, but more so it's not gonna be good because we are still losing a lot of casualties. Alright, so he's gonna double tap the big guy. So this we'll probably use to double tap the disc. Do you really miss at that distance? Alright, so we really kind of need... There we go. Alright, so this guy is just going to probably kill one of the little ones. Because he does have the range to actually get to anywhere else. It's a 90% chance to crit here, and 100% chance to actually hit him. Alright, so we still have a couple of the green, I think they call them muttons. Alright, so another civilian drops. But the flip side of this is that if I was running a regular team, I wouldn't be able to come through here quite as quickly. And even this isn't quite as quick as I had hoped it to be. Alright, so we're going to move him up to there. With this one over here. At least for the civilian over here, which looks like he's currently safe. I guess he was actually hit twice on that. That's not good, because I think that just about killed my support. So we're going to get behind this tank. Because it's really not a good thing to be shot up too bad there. And then we'll give him something to fire at, which will be this guy. I guess we'll go ahead and save this one. Yeah, I think for now I'll probably end the turn here. Really? <sighs> All 
Alright, so a third of the civilians are dead. Alright, so we're not going to move our support because he might die if they overwatched at all. Alright, so to save as many as we can, we're going to go ahead and run full force into this one. Alright, so this one we can pop off. Yeah, we'll go ahead and double tap that one, just being a... So we didn't do quite excellent, but we definitely did okay. Twelve alive instead of, you know, fewer would be at least a little bit better. And this one is promoted to Major. Basically it's a health bonus for the armory wearer, so... So we can actually dissect that this now. Heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, so we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. All right, so basically we can actually get one of those things. Should actually be a pretty interesting buddy. Alright, I thought we could. Maybe it was a foundry. Bands construction. Alright, suppose we need two of those sectoids. I think I've actually built one of those, so that would be a pretty neat little addition. Something different. And we'll probably go and scan until we get everything finished here. Alright, so the last thing we're going to need to Actually, we're still waiting on the the transfers here. Scramble interceptor. All right, so luckily got there in time. Unfortunately, right now it's still running avalanche missiles, which means it's probably not going to do very well. Because we actually haven't been able to arm our EMPs yet. Once we do that, we should be... Wow, it's a ton of money. I don't really need the money, though. You won't hear that very often, but I think right now it doesn't actually matter. 
All right, so let's go to the hangar. All right, so we actually can't change that yet. So, EMP cannon. So we're not quite there yet. Really, again? But I can't. So pretty much we're going to send all three planes out, hopefully, if one of them doesn't take it down. Two of these are running laser, but they are... Alright, so our first plane's down. Unfortunately, our interceptors are really just not good to keep right now. So, worst case scenario, we're going to blow up a few of our planes. Send them all at once. Enemy is but this just has regular avalanche missiles, so... Honestly, say it's not been a very good few flights here. I guess they didn't wait for us to get everything moved around. That's going to take us three more days. Alright, so this demon just arrived at a loadout, EMP cannon. So we're going to transfer this one to here. So another EMP cannon. So if we want to actually put something on each and every one of these, we're going to need to make sure we get enough for all of them. So we need to manufacture two more of these. And then pretty much the ones that are in transfer right now, once they arrive, will be set. Pretty bad there. Change if your efforts continue to prove inadequate. We are not picking up any signal from our bird. We will be in touch, Commander. All right. Dang it. We still just have avalanche right now. We actually haven't finished arming that one yet. Because it just dried. Uh, we 
have to repair that one again. All right, so that one, EMP, EMP, EMP. This one needs to switch out. So basically this one in North America. And hopefully we'll get one more of these ships that we can actually f fight against. And I'll kind of show you, give you a pretty good idea as far as... Alright, so we'll probably show you in this particular video. Uh, what we're probably going to end up doing is just ending this one. Uh, and then hopefully by the next video, uh, you'll see the new ships in action, and then we're also trying to see whether or not we can pretty much initiate the end of the game, which is pretty close to this time period. I'm just not sure what we're waiting on. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching Runaway Gaming, and you